Now, as we get ready to cross our bridge right here, please hold on to the handrails. And again, please take your time. Light to help your show that way. Okay. I know this part of the path gets a little bit interesting. Mm. That's how you should be. I'm paying attention. I got it. Worst comes to worst, I'll use my parachute training. I have no fear of heights. It's only the fall that bothers me, the landing part. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop right here for just a moment. Now, while we're standing here, we are directly below our Grand Cathedral. It is 90 foot tall, 50 foot in diameter. And with us walking through it today, we are one of four caves that we are allowed to walk through such a large formation. Now, I don't know the exact other caves off the top of my head that we are allowed to. Unfortunately, I do not have that information at this time. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Yes. Now, another thing that I will let y'all know as we're here, I'd like to direct everyone's attention back to where we came in at, just to see how far down we already are. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I took a glance. I'm good. You're all good. <laughs> we and just one more formation before we go on. Sure. Right across from here, oh. we got little soda straws. Called that because they're completely hollow all the way through. They're made up of just one little droplet of water that, as it goes through, leaves a little ring of calcite. Hmm. And of course, if there's enough, form, enough to fill up at the bottom, it starts forming around itself and becomes a stalactite formation. Hmm. All right, y'all. As we get ready to come into the Grand Cathedral, since we do lose our handrails, you are allowed to touch the walls as we go in and out. Mm. Please utilize just your fingertips at around hip level. That way we can keep this natural opening okay. open. All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here's all that ridge stone that I was talking about as we go up this way. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. that is a good grip. Well, with that, please watch your head and shoulders. Even though it is called cave bacon, it is not very soft. 